Hello Nitro fans and Electric fans racing at 393. So this video is going to be my, um, I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos actually, it's going to be a comparison video. Now I think we all know the answer in reality, uh, to, to, uh, regarding to RC anyway, that you, you probably find that um, an electric rally control car is going to be miles quicker than a nitro. It's got the potential. Not every electric car is quicker than every nitro, but as a rule of thumb, the electric cars tend to, you can, you can upgrade them and make them perform to a, a much higher spec and a much higher speed than the majority of um, nitros. There are gonna be an exception to the rules in some cases, but as, as you're probably aware, just the way that the the science is, to be honest, nitros don't like to be revved and held high revving for long periods. It doesn't do them any good. Where a, an electric engine or an electric motor, I should say, uh, is actually designed for that. Lots of torque, maximum RPM, long periods, you know, uh, period. But in this video, what we're going to do, um, we've got a fully pimped out Mini M05 chassis, which you can see just there. And just alongside it is my Traxxas Nitro Fortec with the Peugeot body on. So the, the cars, they're only body shells, as I said. So, you know, you can put any shell on these cars that you like, but they're kind of, for, their, for the purpose of the video, uh, they're period correct shells, aren't they? So. Um, we've got a normal 1275 GT Mini here, and uh, uh, we've got a 205 T16 rally car. The difference is this one's front wheel drive on an M05 chassis. This is four wheel drive, um, belt driven nitro. So if you've been along with the ride for this car and these videos, we've done quite a lot to this car, and this will be the first time out um, for a long time. I've got high speed gearing in there, lightweight shafts, um, ball races all round. It has been pimped out with uh, aluminium parts, uh, yeah, racing upgrades, uh, soft rubber. Uh, what else did I do with it? It's got um, a brushed vintage motor and it's quite hot it's probably too hot for what i'm going to use it for but i'm going to use it for a quick blast and it's going to be running on a 2s lipo i upgraded the sort of the chassis or the battery compartment which is most of the chassis to be honest um, so that it could take um, a lipo whereas the Traxxas is one I've been rebuilding uh, and it's finally, well it's finished, it's had a, a running video uh, without a shell, so I, I did it like a tuning video, I didn't have a body shell on it, so I couldn't really fully open it out. Um, with that one, the difference now is I have put a grub screw in the transmission which allows me to change when it changes gear. Now the only difference with that is it was changing gear from the video um, a bit early but I don't know if that's right or, or wrong I've no idea and I'll put a grub screw in so it either will now not change gear which would be a pain but it will change gear too late I can remove the grub screw so it's not it's not a big issue uh, is there anything else no so perhaps I'll put a little video on online a, prior to sending these out. So um, there'll be like a video short for you to sort of get your teeth into. So hopefully you would have already seen that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is literally, I'm gonna charge the battery up. Uh, the weather's quite settled in the UK at the moment. Uh, we'll charge the battery up. Uh, we'll take the Mini out. Um, we'll get do a speed run. And then we'll get some fuel in the nitro and we'll get that out uh, again we'll see what sort of speed all things equal I don't know which one to go quicker actually I'm 
I'm not too sure. So it'll be interesting. So let me get that sorted. I'd just say that um, when you take stuff out, like even RC cars, basically toy cars. So we've got an electric one there. Nitro is there, just charging the uh, battery. But that's a, that's a lot of stuff to take just to do a speed run and then just to upload a video. It's almost, you know, it's, it's an effort. You know, you can't just rock up and do speed runs without properly pre preparing. There's nothing worse than turning up and then finding something doesn't work. So I've tested it all. It's all on and works. Um, the only thing I haven't done yet is the uh, Nitro. I'm not sure that's got enough power in it. And the uh, Corelli, uh, well, it's not Corelli, it's um, Samoa. I forgot what it was then. Well, Samoa, but it should be fine. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'll see in a bit more out there. Okay, here we are. We've got the MO5 chassis. Got, got a signal. Um, it's got a uh, brushed motor in it. So it's a vintage brushed motor, but it's got a um, high speed gear in. So. It is pretty. Uh, Let's just see how quick it goes. That is flat out. I think he did like 34 last time or something. It's nice and straight. That's it. It handles well. Um, we'll see what that got. 34 miles an hour, but something obviously isn't quite working. Uh, let's try once more. Don't know if, the, if it's slipping or... I think things are slipping. Could be the dip. Or oh, something's hot. So I, I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem for that nitro to be. I'm pretty sure that would go quicker. It's not particularly hot. And I don't think anything's stripped, stripped out. Hmm. Yeah, so something's not quite right with that. We'll have a look at that uh, another time, but 34 miles an hour. Right, we're here with the Nitro. Uh, problem is, I didn't bring the... Uh, I left it in the Mini. I haven't got the speed controller. The uh, Sky RC, which is... Which is annoying. Definitely quicker than that mini. It's changing gear nicely, so. No, it's pretty much flat out, so it's probably not far off, but it's probably about 40 miles an hour, maybe. But it's more stable with the body shell on. It's got loads of grip. It's 
probably running a bit rich, maybe, but. Goes well. Seems to be going better. And the two speeds working really well. Just don't know the speed. That's the end of that. That was good, successful, eventually. Bitch to start. Um, but, yeah. It's freaking hot, but. Yeah, it's good. So, we'll get back, have a look around, do a little bit of a, a debrief. Okay, we'll so we're back. Um, where should I start? Disappointing and rewarding. So let's start with the Mini. 34 miles an hour. Disappointing considering it had high speed gearing in and everything else in there to make it quicker. But I do believe something must have been slipping. And, and also I'm not overly keen with this particular LiPo. I don't think it's performing particularly well uh don't know that I've, I've tried it in other electric cars and i do think you know sometimes my nimh goes quicker so it, i don't know it i've checked it on the charger it seems okay there's nothing uh wrong with it but 34 miles an hour nothing slipping you know um it's pretty a bit free but the uh the diff uh, but it, it does, it handles really well. It just, I think, it just needs more oomph. And it, it might just be setting, the, it's got a ball diff in it. Um, and it might just be that. But yeah, 34, I think he did that last time. And it must have done it on an NIMH because, NIM, because the, the speed controller was set to that. I had to change it to LiPo, the little jumpers. So. And it did, I don't know, 34 I think it did last time. On to the Nitro. 
good and bad. Uh, <laughs> I'll start off. I forgot to put that on. I left it in the mini. Um, yeah. And also, this was loose. It wasn't particularly. I'd have to think of another fixing. Maybe like, even just my, you know, I don't know, blue tack or something. To start on, it was a bit of a pig. Two reasons. I think. First and foremost, I do think the starter box was a bit flat. Um, secondly, the glow starter, the first one I used, it's a good job I took more than one. Uh, I charged it up, but maybe not long enough. I mean, it does hold its charge. I have charged it before, but I left it overnight. I didn't do it this time. So anyway, that was that. Um, because I hadn't, used it with a shell the hole that i put in the top for the glow starter wasn't big enough so i had to use the pull start fortunately that works leave it running put the shell on put the four body clips on then use it um it was definitely quicker than 34 definitely it definitely must have been wouldn't have been a lot more i must say not a huge amount 40 something miles an hour 43 i guess uh, maybe 43, but I'm guessing, so I don't know. I'm eating, hang on. It would seem second gear worked well. So I did, I don't know if it was changing, I think it was changing gear later. Uh, I, didn't I didn't alter it in any way, so I wasn't sure whether that grub screw worked, but at least it worked. Um, I didn't use a tank of fuel. It did have a little bit of a whoopsie. Um, the rear wing's a bit knackered now, and this came off, which is a part of the rear wing, but I didn't paint that bit because I covered it. Uh, and the, I think the shocks on the rear need softening. So I might have to take them off, put some uh, thinner oil in there. I think the fronts are okay, but the, the backs are very stiff. So I'm gonna change that. Um, it was running rather hot. I need to put some after run oil in just a little bit. I'll do that in a minute. And what else? That's it. So it was really successful on, on paper. The Nitro went quicker. Um, but of course, the, 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 the Mini did have an issue. I don't know. I will need to take this out separately again. I kind of got a, a benchmark now what to go by. So I might do them in a separate video, like a, a part two or something of this comparison video. We we'll maybe get this set up so you can see how uh, maybe it's if it's slipping maybe do the, the ball diff up or just try a different battery or something so that'd be that one and with the nitro um again i did weaken it a little bit like lean it off not too much just barely eighth of a turn each time did it twice it did it, you can see the smoke was getting slightly less i could see it from where i was i'm not sure if you could see that on the camera but it was going better. I suppose the next thing now with the Nitro is, I think, getting it so it starts on the start box, that's a starter box issue, uh, putting a hole in the roof so that it, the glow starter can go in, um, and try again with making sure this time that I put that on. A bit of an idiot. The whole purpose of this whole thing was comparing the two but i think they we both we had issues on in, on both i think the nitro uh ran better i'm pretty sure the the mo5 i think it's got it's definitely got more in it so anyway enough of that i'm going to eat the other one of these i'm going to finish the video i hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts and I shall see you for a, a, like an update video separately. Probably we're getting the mini running and, and doing a proper a, spe a lot of proper speed run, but just see if there's any issues, and then making sure we put the the speed meter in nitro and give that another run with some softer springs so it perhaps handles over the bump slightly better. But anyway, that's enough of that. I'm hungry. I'm done, and I'll see you on the next instalment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications. 
Uh, there will be more videos coming out very soon. And goodbye for now.